I'm standing here in an empty room here at our church activity center. And uh, normally empty is not a good thing, an empty building. But I'm excited because nine days from now, we're going to launch our All-Stars and 212 uh, children's and youth events for the school year. We're excited for the young people that are going to come and the lives that we can be affected. And within nine days, this room's going to be filled with laughter and excitement and energy. And uh, whether they come for a bang ball or they come to throw a football with a caring adult or whether it's kickball at game time, we're excited for what's coming because of the key component, which is the gospel message of Jesus Christ and the spiritual formation that we're seeking to build in young people's lives. We consider it absolutely essential, absolutely critical, and we have for years the spiritual formation and building into people's lives. And so the cohort of leaders at 212 Student Ministry, which is going to be at our youth building in town in Mound City, 2nd in Maine, and then our all-stars here at this building from preschool up through 6th grade, we're excited to launch. Now, a couple of concerns with regard to the virus that's going around and such we're going to be taking people's temperatures as they arrive at each building and uh, there's a, a level that we're looking for that if it's over that of course they wouldn't get in we'll have signs posted on the doors um, as they are entering and then we're going to emphasize our small groups even more than we do all through recent years we've really put an emphasis on small groups and we're going to do that even more and each of our small group leaders will have their hand sanitizer available. We'll have masks available. We're not requiring masks, but we're going to have them available. We consider what we do essential in the lives of young people. Our vision that we've carried with us for years is to alter the trajectory of an entire generation of this county's youth. There's risk to everything that we do. We understand that every time we open the doors and people travel here, there's risk. There were risks for each of the 31 mission trips that we've launched from our church. There's risk to the 51 different youth camp and children's camp teams that we've sent out from here as multiple vehicles have left on each of those road trips. But each of those risks we took and we considered those risks worth it because of the results that we were seeking and that is the transmission of the gospel of Christ into people's lives. That's why we've been holding Sunday worship gatherings because what happens in people's lives when the word of God is communicated and when community occurs is so significant. And so we look forward. We ask you to join us in praying for what's ahead. We ask you to join us in praying for our Wednesday night gatherings of young people, for the cohort of volunteers. We recognize the risks and we take them very seriously and we are eager to see the benefits that make the risks worth taking. Thank you for praying and thank you for joining us on this great adventure of taking the gospel to the next generation.